what is creativity? Creativity is simply intelligence having fun. This is the show where we shine the light on different creative expressions from different walks of life altogether. My name is Peace Adeniro. Welcome to the Muse. In case you've not followed us yet, please do that right now by following us on all our social media platforms on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and LinkedIn at High Impact TV and High Impact TV UK. My guest is already in the studio. He's a fine artist, and I can't wait to start this conversation with him. So let's just sit back, relax, and enjoy while we take a look at his profile. Adebayo Shegun. Adebayo Shegun Michael is a fine artist who works conceptually with paintings and drawings on canvas and paper. His representation of figures is inspired by forms and day-to-day -day activities in his environment. Adebayo is a graduate of the University of Benin and he lives and works in Lagos, Nigeria. Today on The Muse, Adebayo Shegun Michael is our guest. I have Adebayo Shegun Michael in the studio with me. Hello, Michael. Hi. How are you today? I'm very well. Are you looking good, by the way? I love your braid. <laughs> Thank you very much. All right, so let's talk about your art. <clears throat> How did it all start for you? Well, art for me started as a little child, like when I was very little. Okay. And, um, you know, um, I grew up in Mushi. And Mushin, growing up Lagos. In, yeah, Mushi, Lagos. Mm. Growing up in that kind of area, you know, already introduces you to everything good, bad, ugly. I know, right? So um, back then, my dad would want me to, you know, do something else. He literally tells me every day, like, you should, um, go to school because you are either going to become a lawyer, a doctor, or um, what's the An other? An engineer, yeah, a they, pilot. They have this, yes, they have this thing, like yeah. you must either be one of those three major, mm -hmm. you know. So what happened was he got disappointed and um, I picked up my... He got disappointed by yeah, you because you weren't going in that in line. In that line, okay. so I would tear every paper in my notes just to draw <laughs> Those small boxes, you know, those small boxes, Jackie Chan and mm. all that stuff. So art started very early for me because even when I was very little, someone asked me, I, I think I was in primary four. Okay. They asked, they said, what would you like to become in the future? I told them I would like to become a fine art because I was very <laughs> naive then. I didn't know it was fine, fine artist. artist. So I told the person what I said and... They were like, no, you are going to be a fine, a fine artist. artist yeah. So art started very early for me. So I was drawing right from a very, very little age. Well, so at what point did you start professionally you now? Yeah, professionally was when I went to the tertiary institution. Okay. Um, I went to the University of Benin, like in my profile. And um, that was funny enough. You know, that was the first time I ever had, you know, um, a training when it comes to art. But before then, I in my secondary school, I I went to a very, very local kind of secondary school. Mm, says mm. you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, we did not have an art teacher. Okay. You know, sometimes the setting can go that way that they wouldn't be able to afford one. Back yeah. in the days, they couldn't really afford our teachers, they were scarce then. Okay. So he made them do part-time and people wanted a full-time. Most of those schools back then wanted a full-time art teacher. So the art thing was self-thought. I, I had to ask one of my teachers then, my English teacher, Mr. Wilfred, Bernard Wilfred, I remember okay. his name. So I asked him and I said, sir, I would love to study art in the university, but we do not have an art teacher. How do I go about it? So he said, I must find a way to do it in WAEC first, okay. then go further, get um, the jam for the Form processing and, and the admission. Yeah. Yes. So, but without any knowledge, what would I have done? So I had to go get books read on my own, and I thank God I passed. Mm. And I had a C4, yeah, then a credit. 
So, and that was how I, you know, I scaled into through, it through, uh, into, the into the university. Into the university. That was how I got there. Okay, so you decided you were going to make a living out of it in the university or when you graduated? Actually, pretty much started making a living right while I was still wow. <laughs> studying. You know, uh, that was the fun part of it. It's very, very interesting when, you know, your, your choice of study, your course, tends to bring you income even while you are still, you know, in school. Studying, yeah. So what I did back then was I would do designs, wall designs, mm -hmm. for um, um, people's apartments. There were these people who stayed off campus. We call them off K occupants. Mm -hmm. While those ones inside, you know, they, they were the on-campus people. So off-campus people would rent apartments, and then they want to show people that, OK, I'm a student. You know, mm -hmm. they, they want this. Thing, this beauty, the aesthetics on their walls, and they reach up, reach out to people like us, and then they, they put something on their walls. Put something on their walls, something spectacular. It, it kept going, and then before you know it, there was like a popularity. Like morals, or just paintings on paper for them to paste. Morals. Oh, okay. Morals. I remember back then I did um, one particular painting. Right? It was just an eye. The oh. lady wanted an eye close to her bed. Okay. Yeah, it was just like the bed was sitting here, and then the big eyeball mm. was looking down. Uh, you know, it was fun back then. And wow. that was how I was making any money right. And so it, for me, it was just common sense. Like, guy, you've already started getting money even before you get out of school. So yeah. definitely, this is a way for you. And of course, apart from passion, everybody gets into um, into their field of study because they love to do that thing. Yet, you know, when it pays, there is this satisfaction yeah, that comes with it. So definitely. Definitely. All right. Good. So you do a lot of pencil art. Why did you choose pencil as a, as your area of specialization rather than the other forms of art that I'm very sure you know how to do? <laughs> <laughs> so why okay. did you specialize in pencil? Okay. Charcoal, color pencil, anything pencil. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it comes easy. Okay. For me. And um, it's controllable mm. to a reasonable extent. Even while I was in school, I never really used pencil. Oh, really? I used, yeah, I used biro. Okay. I would draw with biro because I was scared of using so much eraser. Uh, then back then, one of my lecturer would tell us that you should not bring an eraser to class. Okay. Why did they say that? They said that because um, at some point, art is not about the mistakes you make. Mm. It's not about erasing those mistakes. It's about you know correcting, making those mistakes less obvious. Mm. So correcting them while you walk. People want to see those mistakes, and sometimes. Those mis mistakes can actually make you, they can r define what um, later becomes your strong point okay. in art. I wouldn't want to uh, <laughs> no, dive no, no, too I'm deep enjoying into this, that. Seriously. Okay, so <laughs> then he would say you should not use an eraser. So I looked at it. What is the point of using a pencil that you cannot erase? So I thought, man, I just use biro. And I <laughs> use biro all through my school, like all through from year one to year four. Mm. And it was good. I graduated as the best, you know, in Yay. drawing or also, you know, so. <laughs> Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you yeah. very much. Right. So I had to chip that in. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's you now. <laughs> <laughs> so that was um, the, the um, I thought, you know, using Biro was going to help me, you know, run away from making mistakes, but it didn't. I made quite a lot of mistakes. Yet, I found a way to make it le less obvious. obvious yeah. Then in my final year, yeah. I, I decided that, OK, you have mastered biro to an extent. Why don't you just try to use pencil? pencil no. And when I took out pencil, it was difficult at first. And then later, I got, you know, I got it. And I got some books. I read a few books. And mm -hmm. I saw how those other 
masters used pencils and okay. uh, and I found pencil more interesting than the pen. Mm. So that was how I started using pencil and since then I've dived from different types of charcoal, mm. charcoal pencils I have used. In fact, I can name about five different types of charcoal pens that right. you've used. Yeah. Okay, so let's talk about inspirations. What inspires your art? Life. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Everyday activity, faces, okay. forms. Now, I would break it down for you. Now, art is like saying something or trying to say something okay. without using words. Mm. So you want the other person to look at it and then just try to see what you are saying. You know, look beyond that thing you are telling us, that thing you are not telling us. Mm. And the, the uniqueness in the, the, the creation. Now, I, I am a, a very, very um, um, observant person. I believe the ability to observe is also the ability to draw well. Okay. So I have loved faces from a very, very long time. I love to draw faces, look at faces, and then try to depict it almost as exact I have seen it. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I, I'm not even thinking. I just pick up my medium, either pencil or viral, mm -hmm. and then I start drawing someone without them knowing. Oh. Yes, and when I'm done, I take it to them and I be like, do you think this looks like you? And they be like, oh, you tried. If I mm. got it right, of course, there are times I didn't get it, I would not lie. Mm. So they, they, they would look at it and be surprised and it gives me joy. I feel good when they like it, even if they don't get to, you know, um, pay for it. Pay for it, yeah. Sometimes I give it out, I give it to them. Sometimes I keep them and um, it's always been wonderful mm. drawing faces for me so mm. I chose to draw faces because you know without life a face cannot be a, a fa you cannot have a face okay. the life actually is what gives you a face mm. do mm. you get <laughs> so mm. life don't... is what gives you a face yes because like if you didn't have life in the first place you wouldn't have a face people mm. um tend to know you because you have a face. They look at you and, oh, yeah, this is you, this is me, because of our faces. But so, the life is what is behind the face, the face. at the end of the day. Something wow, like that's, that. that's, that's amazing. We have a couple of your works here, and um, i like us to talk about this. I love it so much. Uh, what Thank inspired you. this? This is um, charcoal, yeah? Yes, this is charcoal. So what inspired this joint? It's a painting of a woman. Yeah. Uh, back to yeah, the camera, about. like I would always say. <laughs> okay, so what inspired this? Okay, um, the female gender. Okay. The body mm. to them is everything. Okay. Would you agree with me? Yeah. <laughs> but <keep> okay. <laughs> okay, so um, what actually drew me to this particular model? Mm. was the forms on our back. Okay. Yeah, so it was more like um, I was testing uh, myself to okay. understand forms, to understand how, you know, how the movement, okay. how it flows around. If you see, you can see, it's almost like you can feel the color, the, yeah, the blade. Yeah, the bones, yeah, coming, the bones out. coming out. So I got interested in that area. Okay. So that was why I, I made this drawing and it was more like a learning process for me. It was like I was moving through the human body. It was like I was recreating um, a person for myself. Mm. You know, it's more like a creation, a creation story. Like I was okay. just recreating this person for okay. myself. That's what I did. I, I got intrigued about this part. And See the emphasis part. on that part, very strong. Mm. And then I just had to cover her face so yeah. it doesn't distract the main um, uh, that's purpose where of the this attention drawing. is yes. supposed to be. Yes, I want the attention to go here. You see this and you'll be like, okay, there is a face, but you're not seeing that. Mm -hmm. So you just go down and then you walk through that part and then 
That's it. Oh, this is beautiful. Thank you. And I hope I'm going to have it at the end of the show. <laughs> let's take a look at this. Okay. <laughs> no answer to that, yeah? Okay, I'll let it pass. Wow, this is a lady on Afro. Yeah. So what's the story behind this? Um, I love hair. You wow. can tell that, of course. <laughs> Uh, you yeah, know what I mean? It's obvious. <laughs> okay, so I've always wanted um, to have this, to have so much hair. Like, so if I cannot have so much hair, I can draw so much hair. Mm. So this is um, me representing the afro that I cannot have okay. in my drawing. Who says you can't have it though? Mm, well, it's not like I cannot have it. Okay. But for now, I'm just keeping it low on the low. I have lots of hair, though. I actually have loads okay. of hair, but it's not as much as this. But back then, when I did this, I think I did this in 2019. Okay. I didn't have that much yeah. hair. Okay. So this was more like a, a dream for mm. me back then. So I love Afro. So okay. this was just inspired by the Afro thing. I just wanted the Afro. Then there is this innocence in her face. Definitely. If you look at the, it, there's yeah. this innocence in her face, and she mm. has, she has this uh, very, very intriguing form, structure, female structure, her nose, her lips, yeah. and then you can just it's look African. at African. Very, very. I like African. it so much. Yes, that African innocence and this um, um, outstanding feature that only Africans have. I am yes. proud, really. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You can just look at her and tell that this is an African lady. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's. Um, I'm going to have this too. <laughs> so let's talk about the people that motivate you in this field of yours. Do you have any? Yeah, I do. My friends. Oh, wow. Yeah, my friends actually motivate me. Though there was a time when um, I look up to um, the likes of um, Kelvin Okafor. It's not like okay. I still do not look up to him. Kelvin Okafor is a UK based artist is okay. very good. You see his works and um, you can you can feel the emotion. Like he draws portraitures. Portrait is um 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 a an hyper realist. Oh okay. Yeah. So hyper realists are people who draw almost photorealistic drawings. drawings yeah. Now when you look at the is work at a glance when you look at it you would not tell or you would not be able to tell it was a From drawing photograph you yes tell you cannot difference. tell the difference until when he shows you the process and um you get to see when he starts till he finishes and you'll be like really this is actually you know back then i admired his work but i didn't really want to do hyper realism mm. i am a realist though but still, he motivated me back then. But the truth is, people who really motivate, mm. or people who really motivated me and still are motivating me, are my friends. Mm. I have one, I have about two, majorly, three. Three friends? Yes. Mm. Okay. Do you mind if I mention their names? Of course. <laughs> Just you know, though that I'll give you your invoice after the show. <laughs> <laughs> Matthew Yedele is one of them. Okay. Kola we had Matthew Yedele here. Yeah, he was here and he signed. Continue. <laughs> <laughs> Great. So, um, um, Uzoma Chibike is okay. currently studying um, Yale University abroad. Okay. So these persons, they they are also artists, mm. and in their own field, they have contributed to my growth, and they they are actually very very motivating. Believe me, they. They have, they've always been there and they're still there. Mm. So. It was nice talking to you, really. Thank you very much. Thank you, too. <laughs> and I'm not about to let Adebayo Shegu Michael go yet. There is still more to come on the show. Please stay tuned. I'll be back. You're welcome back. So right about now, I want to know what it feels like to be Shegu figuratively i'll get into his head to know what to, uh, it feels like to be in his world so i'll be painting with him and he's also here still we have our materials we have um, the papers we're painting on yeah and then we have different pencils here different colored pencils and then the charcoal pencil 
We also have our eraser. We have the cutter. Yeah, the yes, cutter. The cutter and the what's this? It's a pen, yeah. Uh, it's an eraser. An, okay. The Tombow eraser. Oh, okay. So it helps, you know, focus on that spot you want to oh, erase, that really tiny little spot. Okay, okay, I'll make you <laughs> Okay. <laughs> All right, so let's get to it without further ado. Okay. Just keep watching. We'll be done in a GP. All right. And I am done. Oh, pencils up, oh, pencils down. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So are you done? Yes, I am. Okay. So this is the part where we uh, exchange paintings and rate uh, each other. Okay. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh my God, I'm so elated right now. Wow, so this is what you were drawing all the while. Yeah, you can't me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I really appreciate this. And for this, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm rating this 50. Ah, 50. 50 wow. No, 50 is small. <laughs> 100 flat. over 10. This is beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very Aww, much. Oh, I so much appreciate this. I'm blushing. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so let's see my painting. All right. So, here is. Okay. A painting. I try. Wow, this is nice. This is Thank really you. lovely. Thank you. <laughs> like honestly, this is wonderful. I reminds me of me whenever I want to go to the gym and oh, you really? know my boxers and <laughs> the shoes. <laughs> and the shoes. It's nice. It's mm. very lovely. Thank you. So on a scale of one to ten. Mm, I'm going to be very honest. On a scale of one to ten. Mm. I'll give you an eight. <laughs> hey, 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 you give me an eight. Yeah, yeah yo. you want to know why? Because I believe if you could do this, you know, without any knowledge, like little or no knowledge at all in mm. art, like you probably are on your way to becoming the next Da Vinci. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. Thank All you right. so, so much. Thank oh. you. I so much love my painting, everybody. I'll frame this and I'll put it in my room. Thank you so, so, so much. Oh. So there is still more to come on the show. Just sit back and relax. We're not going anywhere just yet. We'll be right back. So ladies and gentlemen, you're welcome to that segment I love the most. This is the game segment. I am going to be playing a game with Adebayo Shegun Michael. He's still here and he's super pumped and super prepped for this game already. Yes, so. Am I right? Yes, yes so. She. I'm ready to win, you know. Okay. Yeah. Let's see who wins. <laughs> so this is the game. It's a word construction game. Okay. I say a word. If you pick the last letter of the word, to start your word, you say it, I pick the last letter of that word to start my word, and then it goes on and on and on till someone loses out. So when someone loses out, we move to level two. So for level two, inside of the last letter, it will be the last two letters. Okay. For level three, the last three letters. Do you okay. understand? I do. And then these are the rules of the game. No two-letter word, no three-letter word, no hesitating, no freezing, no what else, what else, what else, no stuttering. Oh. Spontaneity <laughs> is the spice of this game. Do you okay, get? I get. Okay, let's go. <clears throat> so our word is atrocity. Television. Sorry. I, I missed that. Uh, uh, atrocity. Uh, uh, oh <laughs> my goodness. I missed the first one. You missed it. <laughs> that was so, I felt like crying. <laughs> You missed it. So I, uh, I just won the first session, the first level effortlessly. You understand? I should. I should. Yeah, clap for me. Clap for me. It's needed. Clap for me. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. You won. Thank you. Thank you. It's not flawless easy. victory. Yeah, flawless victory. Let's move on to level two. Let's have your word. Okay. My word. Okay. My word is effort. 
<laughs> Wait, no. I what word? No, what word starts with R T? No, you to tell me what F words. Oh yeah. Um, give me. I what word start with R T? R T. Yes. I should give you. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> so there is no word that starts with R T. I, I think there should be I, a word that starts with R T. Okay, maybe, 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 but obviously you want this, so we have one one. One one, okay, mm -hmm. that's good. So let's move on to level three. Okay. Your word okay. is. Before you start, level three, I have to use the, the last, last three, three letters. <coughs> <coughs> Your word is tender. Ladies and gentlemen, because it froze. Oh, you know I what froze. I mean? So I was expecting you to say something like derision, D -R, derive, derive, oh. uh, you know, all of those words. But then it is what it is. Oh. I, I, I'm happy to announce that peace at De Niro has won this <laughs> session, really has won the game one. section of one. today's episode. Clap for me. No, 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 no. Don't, don't clap with beef. Just clap, clap very well, okay. please. Aha! That's the <laughs> spirit. <laughs> okay, you won, you won. Uh, Thank you for playing this game with me, though. You're welcome. It was fun. Thank you, it was. So there is still more to come on the show. Do not go anywhere. Let's just take this breather. We'll be back. is already i wouldn't let you go today without him observing the muse tradition and what is this tradition you know the drill now is going to get up now go to the muse board and put his signature on it so that we know and every other person knows that he was here so shagun yeah please go to the muse board and put your signature all right gladly yeah thank you uh what can i say what can you say uh, you're welcome what can you say what can hey, i yeah. say except you're welcome <laughs> Da, 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 Thanks da, for coming. Da, da. Okay. I would love to have something of you. Keep your memory with us. Okay. Okay. Uh, are you drawing something? Oh, you're done. <laughs> what? This is beautiful. Mm. Thank you very much. Okay. <laughs> All right, thank you for coming. And as a token of our love and our appreciation, we present this to you. Oh, wow. Beautiful, in it? Wow. So on behalf of the Muse team, we want you to have this hang in your room, your office, or wherever. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you very much. I definitely have a space for this one. <laughs> definitely. You must have a space for it. <laughs> thank you. I appreciate it. All right. Thank you so much for watching. And special thanks to the Repate for my attire and to Nigeria Hair Factory for my beautiful hair. My name is Peace Adeniro, and this is where I draw the curtain today. You can follow us on all our social media platforms on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and LinkedIn at High Impact TV and High Impact TV UK. Till I see you again next week. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye.